You're under oath. You're under oath. Is that true or not? I, I completely understand I'm under oath, Congressman, and I am trying to be accurate. Is that a part of the abortion response. procedure for a late-term abortion? Yes or no? Crushing the skull. Well, I, I don't. No, ma'am, it's a yes or no question. Is that part of it? Yes or no? Under oath. You're under oath. Is that a part of the procedure? I just had a question for Ms. Camp, or a couple of questions. Um, you're the chief legal and strategy officer for the National Abortion Federation. Before that, you spent 20 years at the ACLU, and I think you were in charge of their Reproductive Freedom Project, right? I, I was not the director. I was the deputy director. Deputy director. Okay. Um, just, just for the record, because we've talked a lot about violence here today and violence, I think in your words you said you track violence against people providing abortion services, but I've not heard you acknowledge at all the brutal violence committed against children in the womb as Mr. Roy was asking, when their skulls are crushed and when their limbs are ripped apart uh, to kill and abort them. Um, I, I want to know for the record, are there any restrictions at all on abortion that you would support? So thank you for the question, Congressman. The question you ask is one of profound moral dimension, one that only the person who's pregnant can answer in consultation with their own soul, their pastor, their God, their doctor, their spouse, their nurse. That's where the moral authority rests to answer the question you've asked. So you have no position on, uh, for example, would you support restrictions on sex selection abortions when someone chooses to abort a, a child just because of the sex? So Congressman, I, I can only reiterate, the person with the moral authority to make a decision about a pregnancy. I understood is, that. Is the pregnant I understood that, but on this specific issue, would you or your organization support a legal restriction on sex selection abortion? My organization supports abortion providers in providing patient centered, evidence based care, the care that the pregnant person decides is okay. necessary. In, okay, then if that person decides to have an abortion after 20 weeks gestation, do you support that? So, Congressman? It's a yes or no question. I understand the morality and the, the complexity, but do you support an abortion after 20 weeks gestation, yes or no? Respectfully, Congressman, it's not a yes or no question. What mm -hmm. I support is providers being able to offer the care that patients know and, and, they need. And you support that in a case of an unborn child that's after 20 weeks gestation, correct? I support it in situations where the patient has decided right. in counsel. Do you, do you oppose parental consent laws before a teenager can obtain an abortion? So I have to say, Congressman, these questions sound really far afield from the reason No, ma'am, you're, we, wait a minute, hold on. You're the chief legal and strategy officer for the National Abortion Federation. You are the perfect person to answer these questions. But, oh. it's, not a, it's not a field. Everything's on the table, ma'am, for a hearing. And you came here purporting to be an expert in the field, and I'm asking you a very simple question, and an important one. Sure, I just want to point out that I, I think we're here, all of us together, to oppose violence at reproductive this health care this, We are talking about violence to the unborn child now, directly related to the issue at hand, and I want to know, do you oppose parental consent laws before an, a teenager can obtain an abortion? So, you know, the issue of minors' access is complicated. I do not think that, well, I, we all know that the vast majority of minors do involve at least one parent in their decision. Lawmakers coercing certain family dynamics is not helpful, is not. Is a parental consent law an example of a lawmaker coercing a decision? Well, we know from, you know, multiple cases that when minors don't involve a parent, it's with very good reason. Okay. So, okay. Earlier, Mr. Roy was asking you about the crushing of the skull of an unborn child. You acknowledge that that is part of an abortion procedure if it's a later term pregnancy, correct? I, I don't think I, I did do that. I'm not a clinician. Ma'am, you're in charge of the National Abortion Federation. You know that they crush the skulls of unborn children. Come on. You're under oath. You're under oath. Is that true or not? I, I completely understand I'm under oath, Congressman, and I am trying to be accurate. Is that a part of the respect. abortion procedure for a late-term abortion? Yes or no? Crushing the skull. Well, I, I don't... No, ma'am, it's a yes or no question. Is that part of it? Yes or no? Under oath. You're under oath. Is that a part of the procedure? I, I understand I'm under oath, and what I can tell you is that my background is in law and strategy, 
How uh, convenient. Ma'am, if it were true that they crushed the skull of an unborn child to take the baby out and complete the abortion, would that be an act of violence to you? Congressman, the violence I see is the violence of forced abortion and forced okay. birth. All right. I, I think your non-responses here speak volumes for the record, and I yield back. 